New Radio Sports Network and 104.1 WRLU, another edition of the show with head coach Pat Mickish as we enter the month of March and not going to be home a whole lot this month. Our next Gamblers broadcast won't be until March 20th, which is also the only other home game this month after playing uh, one game last weekend. That was a 7-2 to two loss to Chicago. They were able to claim one game out of that series, two to one. They were able to do that in Illinois. And uh, coach, first of all, coming off of that uh, that game on Friday, uh, even though the result wasn't great on the ice, uh, it looked like a lot of great things happened off of it as you raised a lot of money for stroke awareness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jeff Mitchell and his crew, uh, you know, put together another great game, and to have that type of a crowd on a Friday night was good. And uh, not to correct you, but it was a 7-4 game. And it was uh, it was actually a very well-played game. I liked uh, how our team played until that third period. We had those couple of turnovers that gave Adam Fantilli the time and space that makes him such a special player for Chicago. And taking a look at the goaltending situation, Aaron Rondazzo, uh, is his issues more with skill right now? Is it the defense ahead of him? I mean, I know that there's a lot of stuff that goes into – goaltending ahead of him yeah looking back at the video I mean we gave up too many grade a opportunities and uh you know especially to their top guys you know in a game that we were leading four three and you know I, I think we needed to get through that next five minutes and we allowed them to score that shift right after we had scored and you know to make it four four and and so we needed to hold that momentum keep our building loud during that time and you know it was just a a turnover that we want back, but, uh, you know, that's why Chicago is a top team that they are there. You know, they're a great 60 minute team and, and tough to play against. And on the flip side, I I feel like we've, we had this conversation earlier in the year about, uh, Radislav Ilyas as he was getting used to playing in the United States. Now he's really turned in some nice performances as, as, as of late. Oh, he's been really strong since Thanksgiving. You know, we lost him for that month long stretch when he had uh, the world juniors and then his, his COVID issue. And so, you know, there was a month we really would have liked to have had him around because he's showing that he's a a very talented young goalie and came with a great win in Chicago on Saturday, um, you know, holding them to one goal. You know, I liked our team defense as a whole, but uh, a real credit to to Rasto and, and some of the saves he made late in that game. Is it is it kind of shocking to you sometimes how you can have such a difference in results from you know one night to the other? I mean, you go from giving up seven goals to just two. Well, and that's just you know what we gave them. You know that that first night, you know they they score their seven, but it was uh, a lot of little things that we did wrong to give their top guys that time and space. And the second night, we we limited those opportunities for their top guys. And you know you can talk analytics all you want, but you know, the, the computer really doesn't lie at the end of the weekend. And you could sit there and say, okay, well, you know, they're here, here was their expected goals for the one night with the opportunities we gave them. And then here's the second night and, you know, credit to Rasto. He had to make some big stops, but you know, we were better in front of him as well. And now you'll be heading out onto a road trip here, March 11th to the 13th. You'll be in Youngstown and, uh, do, do you like playing three games against the same opponent? Cause you would think that by the third time, I mean, that's, that's usually where some of those ill feelings from the first two games tend to creep up. Yeah. I mean, it's always going to be a battle, especially with a physical team like Youngstown. So, I mean, like we'll, we'll have to prepare to, you know, take it one game at a time, you know, the energy level for the two teams won't change because both teams are in the exact same situation. So it's uh it's all about how you manage your group and, and take advantage of your opportunities when you have them. Uh, but at the same time, they, uh, they're going to be a great challenge. I mean, they're going to be playing the home, you know, so it's just taking care of our own group and, and making sure that we're as fresh as we can be and ready as we can be for all nine periods. And not to mention Youngstown, Ohio is lovely this time of year. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's not the dream city to attend, but that's not why we're there. I promise we have a couple of restaurants that are phenomenal out there. Uh, so our guys will eat well and uh, be well rested. I mean, the hotel and everything will take care of us and we'll get the guys, you know, ready to go at the rink. 
Now you have a couple of new players on the roster as well. I believe the last time that we talked, you had literally just met them. So we didn't know much about them. So tell us about some of the new players that are on the team. Yeah. With Kramer coming in from Dubuque, uh, you know, kind of tried him with two different lines last weekend. Uh, loved his approach to joining green Bay. He got himself into a fight the first night after throwing a big hit and, you know, and he, he showed that he really wanted to be here and, and uh, you know, help this group through the last, you know, third of the season. And, and then with Stenman, you know, he was one that we were a little bit more familiar with personality wise and everything, just because he had been at our camp a few years ago and, and we had spent quite a bit of time scouting him in the process. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's a longer defenseman. He skates, uh, he's got a really good shot. And, you know, right now just trying to find out, you know, who, what partner he's going to be comfortable with. And, you know, I think it's been, it's been good because some of our young guys are getting more opportunities because of the movement we've made. And, and at the same time, it's, uh, you know, a couple of fresh faces, fresh voices in the locker room that, you know, wanted a new opportunity. They wanted more ice time and they're getting that here in green Bay. And I know last year you had some of the affiliates that came up towards the end of the season, but can you kind of go into maybe the balancing act it takes to introduce new players at this stage of the year where, you know, for a lot of these players, they're used to playing with certain players on certain lines and all of a sudden you got a new piece in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a, uh a little bit of change for, for everybody. Um, you know, the biggest thing with the new guys is just trying to get them comfortable in your environment. And so they go out and play confident when they have that opportunity with whatever systems, you know, they need to know, but, uh, the shuffling of guys, I mean, this time of the year, it seems like we have one guy kind of banged up and out every night. So we can basically, somebody's going to have injured written next to them at just that time of the year. And, and so everybody's getting good opportunity right now. And they just want to make sure that, especially for those younger players, take advantage of that opportunity that's in front of you night in and night out. Is it nice to kind of have that nice injection of new blood and new, new energy into the locker room? I, I thought it was great last week. You know, I thought, uh, you know, we played five out of the six periods very strong against Chicago. You know, to put up 40 shots on Friday night, and that's probably a little bit to our fault that we we opened up a little bit too much, which led to some of their offense. But, you know, it, it was uh, the, the new the new legs, the fresh voice in the locker room, I think, was effective for everybody. And and they uh, they approached it the right way and went out and competed against a very good Chicago team. Now, you got girls state basketball here this weekend, Eric Church the following weekend. Do you wish that you were around or at least a little bit closer so you can kind of soak it all in? No, I'm, I'm good. We got to go play these road games, no matter what sometime of the year. Um, last year is when we went to Youngstown right around the same time, got there and found out that we weren't able to play the game because of their COVID issue. So I'm, uh, I'm making sure that we go out there and play the play the nine periods that we're supposed to play this weekend. And I mean, you kind of bring up a nice point here as things have opened up and, you know, last year, it seems like it just took forever to get through the season because you had the number of COVID issues. I think, you know, maybe during the course of the year, you had maybe one game effect. I mean, that's got to help you kind of get your team ready to go because they're not necessarily going from weekend to weekend wondering if they're going to play their games or not. Yeah, we were living on edge last year as the whole league was, just to see. But, uh, you know, the protocols have allowed us to play a really clean schedule this year. We had the one game, as you mentioned, uh, that we had to move. But other than that, everything's been uh, – been great and uh you know we're just looking forward to finishing out these last six weeks strong all right the first week of those six coming up this weekend march 11th through the 13th all the games will be in youngstown as they battle the phantoms our next broadcast once again will be march 20th when madison returns the favor with a trip to the rest center on march 20th that game will be aired on 1041 wrlu uh, beginning at three o'clock coach as always we appreciate the time and we'll talk to you next week look forward to it thank you you're listening to the new radio sports network